Thank you for watching. Today we're going to go over fancy birds, the genesis birds, breeding, and the tokenomics. None of this is financial advice. I'm a guy in my basement, high as hell, trading honestly shit pixel birds. I don't think any game should be able to raise money with this bad of images and artwork in this stage of Web3 Gaming. This is trash. Oh! And at a minimum, it needs to be custom 3D art at this point. This is not art. These are just pixel images. But with that said, I own two. <laughs> Let's get right into it. What is Fancy Birds? Fancy Birds are 8,888 randomly generated characters with custom features. What do you know? Racing to earn their spot and claim the treehouse trophy. Each bird will fight and race to earn their spot as the fanciest bird in the nest. One, two, three! Kevin, that guy's not even racing yet. Yeah, he did, he blinked. This is just more copy pasta, mash themes, trash, to be honest, in my opinion. Racing, breeding, bird games, shit pixel art, check, 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 check. All copy pasta, trash, okay? It is a total breed rent Ponzi. A link down below if you want to buy a breed rent Ponzi shirt and support the YouTube channel, because that's exactly what this stuff is. All right, here's what they're quoted saying. Fancy Birds is the first of many games we plan to launch in our Play to Earn Arcade. Each NFT from our game will have utility in our ecosystem of mini games. Fancy Bird players will be able to play, do quests, compete on leaderboards, and earn FNC tokens. FNC will be used for several in-game utilities such as bird customization, NFT redemption feature, tournament entries, and much more. Ugh, my god, I don't trust this stuff. Tokenomics of FNC. The total token supply of FNC will be 1 billion, which will be minted at Genesis. The initial token allocation of 220 million FNC will be as follows. 10% to seed round investors. I hear Kieran from Alluvium is an advisor here. Funny to be an advisor on a game project before you've released a game of your own. Super red flag for me. Vesting, 8% to be given as a locked staking position of one year in the single FNC staking pool. The remaining 82% will be on a three month lock followed by linear vesting for 36 months. I don't even know how far we're in that three month lock. They could be able to dump it right, start dumping right away at this point. Three months is nothing to show they got a token and potentially dump linearly. I need to see good games from companies going forward before they get tokens. This stuff has got to stop in Web3. <laughs> they speak on the tokens needing to be available for guilds and early investors to use in game. I think they should have to buy a level playing field to get access to tokens today to use. It's okay if you want to invest in the game as a big guild and get some tokens that are locked up for a long period of time that you can't use for a couple years. But then when the game releases, you need to put fresh capital to work the same way everybody else does with the public at the same time. So we're all on a level playing field. No more of these guilds getting a ton of assets way cheaper than the public before the public has an opportunity. You can invest in a game, but you need to play the game just like everybody else. Just like everybody else. <laughs> the rest of the P2E economy is broken down on their website. You can check it out. How earnings is going to work, I have no clue. Uh, but let's dive into the Breed Rent Ponzi game plan here. With multiple minigames on the horizon, FNC will not serve as the main token to the ecosystem long term. The main purpose of FNC is to be the governance token of the entire fancy game studio of minigames. 40% of the total FNC supply is still dedicated to in-game rewards and ecosystem incentives, which are planned to be distributed over four to six years by current projections. After season one of Fancy Breedings, which will last until May 1st, or until 35,552 baby birds are bred, there will be a second token introduced to the ecosystem, which will serve as the primary earn token for the Fancy Games economy. A few different ways to earn FNC to start, completing daily challenges, Weekly challenges, daily check-in, in-game FNC, opt-in for rewards and airdrops, tournaments. 
Short-term roadmap, currently working on beta testing for rental and guilds dashboard. Note, if you have at least 30 Genesis birds in a single wallet and are not part of the existing collaboration birds, you can still join in the beta program by becoming part of the flock group on Discord. Planning to launch the beta next week, so interesting to know. Multiplayer mode for live races, a marketplace, game to development, code name Launchpad. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to try and make some money off this game and see where it goes. We have two of them. Uh, I think we are going to start breeding them and put a little more money in. We just have to play the game hot potato. A bunch of people are aping in. But again, this is not financial advice. Do not follow me. These projects are risky as shit. Some of this is interesting, but I think games need to put forth more effort before selling assets. This has so many red flags to me, but we are doing it live and up updates to come. If you like this video and made it this far, please hit subscribe button, comment down below. Thank you and see you in the next one.